guys, welcome to John Nevin's Fishing Adventures once again. I'm Evan Beal. Today is going to be kind of a short video, a little bit of a different video. Um, um, pardon my voice, I've kind of got a little bit of a <coughs> sore throat. Anyway, um, today we're going to be going over some of the footage that I got on my Thanksgiving break, Days of Fishing, which was about a week ago. Um, or is going to be a week ago. Um, by the way, happy Thanksgiving. It's pretty late, but drop a comment on what you did this Thanksgiving. I had a lot of fun. Um, so, the intentional plan, the original plan for this break was to go fishing three times. It turned out to be just like one and a half. Um, one day, I was thinking maybe we could get another tiny bit of fishing after visiting my grandma, but that didn't really work. Um, and then, because of um, uh, family reasons, we had to cut the last day half short. Um, the first day, um, which you're not going to see in this video, uh, we targeted bullheads, completely failed, just caught some dink carp and traveled around and looked for new fishing spots, which was fun. Um, and you'll see those in future videos. However, the very final day, that half day left, was the most productive. Not for me, but for my dad. So I'm just going to show you some of the nature shots we got and the very important fish that, man, he he lucked out on this one. <laughs> if you hear a giggle, that's definitely <laughs> the camera. <laughs> so I'll roll the clips. Wasn't recording this but look what dad just caught uh -huh. this is a fish i have wanted to catch for so long oh, these things are so hard to catch the hog nose sucker look at that fish and of course he had to ingest the whole thing i might, I might just have to that my, is the coolest line. this is one of the hardest suckers to catch i mean i've tried so hard for this fish look at that, that is a good one too boy and so that's a new species for you. It's look look at that mouth. Look at that mouth. Just like, oh, oi, oi. That's just nasty. Should we get a picture of the fins? No, I know exactly what this is. There's only one species of sucker that looks like this. We don't really need any okay. special photos or anything. But just look at that mouth. I don't even see the hook. I don't either. I don't see the hook. What? I might have to cut the line. Oh, wait, hold on. If I, hold on. If I pull up his mouth like this... I see the worm, but I don't see the uh, hook at all. So we're gonna have to cut this. Do you want me to just cut it? Yeah. This is a very pretty fish. Okay, got it. What a cool fish. <laughs> that's a fish of a lifetime right there. That's a that's a bucket list fish for me. Yeah. Okay, y'all. He's starting to bleed. You might wanna look at that fish go. I'm not sure if he'll survive with that hook, but we'll see. There's lots of them around though, so. Oh my gosh, wow. dude! New species for yeah. you, right? Yeah, so. Wow. I'm so jealous That's right now. One. That's a tough one. I'm so jealous right now. That was. Wow. So, yeah, Dad caught a. Pardon, Dad wiping some water off my windowsill. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, Dad caught a northern hognose sucker. Man. These fish are quite hard to catch. Out of all the suckers, in my opinion, they're one of the harder ones to catch. White suckers are pretty easy. Red horse are meh. Hog nose, that's just like, you just gotta be out there and catch one. I mean, they're hard. You can't stalk them because they'll just be spooked. It's very weird. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy for him that he caught one, but now I'm aching to get one too, but 
Anyway, um, if I turn the camera around, which I'm going to, there's Dad. Now, as you can see, <laughs> look how beautiful that is. So, if the camera is still good, it yeah, it snowed. So, no closings, no two-hour delay, sadly, but um, yeah, it's snow, and you know, stuff's starting to freeze over. However, we are going to get a reprieve from that, along with a whole day of rain, so... I don't know how that this next video is going to turn out after this, but hopefully we can get in a few more fishing sessions of fun before the winter onslaught hits when we have to stay inside. But we're going to try to endure it this winter. I'm not going to be a baby and just stay inside all the time. So I'm going to at least try to get out, scout fishing spots. If I have to, I'll chuck a hammer on a rope into the water if the ice is thin enough. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is all I have for today. <clears throat> Get ready for the next video. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but anyway, see you guys next time. Oh.